Hello, today's video topic is, how to extend disk C if the extend volume option is inactive, as well as how to increase the size of disk C without losing data and without any third-party programs. This video is made on a computer with Windows 10, but all my steps for you will be exactly the same in both Windows 11 and Windows 8. And so, I open this PC, here we see two disks, disk C, and disk D, and they are located on the same physical disk. The C drive currently has too much data, its memory is full, and that is why it is colored red. The D drive contains my photos, videos, and other personal files, and there is enough free space there to transfer some of that space to the C drive. But if your C drive and D drive are on different physical disks, then my video will not help you increase the size of C drive and you will have to solve this problem in another way. Since my C drive and D drive are on the same physical drive, I will now use Windows to increase the space on the C drive. It is not difficult to do this at all, follow me, repeat all the steps from the video, and you will succeed too. Right click, start, and select, disk management from the list. In the program window, we see drive C. I right click on the disk, and in this list we see that the extend volume line is dim gray, that is, the extend volume parameter is currently inactive. I can attach the entire D drive to the C drive, but in the process of these actions, all my data on the D drive will be completely deleted and this is in no way acceptable to me. To avoid data loss, you need to shrink the D drive and then transfer some of the freed space to the C drive. To do this, right-click on Drive D and select Shrink Volume. In this window we see Total Volume Size Before Compression, Space Available for Compression, and in this tab, we can enter the required size of the compressible space. All values in this window are in megabytes. To specify the size of the compressible space, we can click on the buttons on the right, or simply delete this number and write another number we need. For this part of disk D, I allocate 200,000 megabytes, that is, 200 gigabytes, you can specify a different size based on the size of your disk. Just below the total size after compression is shown, now you need to press, shrink, and we immediately see that disk D has been divided into two parts. In one part there is my data, in the other part there is unallocated space and this is exactly the part of the D drive that we need to attach to the C drive, but first we need to do a few more steps. According to the rules of interaction between volumes, we will not be able to attach the unallocated area to drive C if there is another volume between them. To perform this operation, the unallocated area must be on the right and adjacent to the main one, as we see it on the D drive, and now I will show you, how simply we can solve this problem. I right-click on the unallocated partition and select New Simple Volume. I click Next. This window shows the size of this volume, I will not change it, Next. Here you need to assign a drive letter. I assign the letter E, Next. I leave the formatting settings unchanged and click Next. If you want to change anything, click Back, I click Finish and we have created a new volume. The new volume is formatted and ready to use. Now we need to transfer all personal files from drive D to drive E, and after that make drive D an unallocated area. This way, the unallocated area will be next to drive C, and then we can attach the free space of drive D to drive C. And so, I open this PC, Right-click on Drive D and select, Open in a new window. Here we see all the personal files that need to be transferred to Drive E. I open the E drive. And simply drag and drop all the files from the D drive to the E drive.
All files have been copied, and now you can close these disks. Right click the button, start, and select, disk management. Now I right click the disk D, and choose, delete volume. The system offers to resave all data, since after deleting the volume, all data on the disk will be deleted. I have already transferred my data to another drive, I hope you did all this, and I click, yes. And now we see that drive D has become an unallocated area, it is located next to drive C and now there are no obstacles to connecting this space with drive C. We right click on the C drive, and now we see that the extend volume option has become active, because we just created this possibility. Select, extend volume, click, next. This window contains all the parameters for expanding the volume, I will not change anything, and click, next. The process is completed, and here you need to click, finish. Yes. My C drive has successfully increased in size, I close the program window and now let's open this PC. Yes. The red color on the C drive is no more and its size has increased noticeably, I hope that everything went well for you too. This concludes my video tutorial and I hope what I just said could help you, and if you found it useful, please share my video with someone. Good luck.